Hey YouTube, it's Carrier Sidekick, and today we're playing Free For All on High Rise on Modern Warfare 2. And there's a couple things wrong with this already if you follow me. One, we're playing Free For All, which I don't play Free For All because I don't like Free For All. I've never liked Free For All. I just personally like having teammates. I don't like everybody being an enemy. Um, it's harder to win because you're versing everybody. Um, I don't know, the skill level is a little bit higher than it is in Team Deathmatch. I just, I don't know, I don't really dig free-for-all. And two, we're sniping, which is really weird for me because I don't snipe. But, I red gun all the time and red gunning is just getting super boring that I want to get better at something. And the only way to get better at something is to just do it. So, I thought that the best way to get better at sniping would be to play free-for-all. Wow, I missed that knife by a mile. <laughs> Too bad I didn't have Commando on, and he got me again. But, anyway, I'm not a good sniper. I've said this before, I don't even think I have any sniper gameplay up on my channel from Modern Warfare 2, because Modern Warfare 2 sniping, while everybody thinks it's the best, and it's not bad, I'm terrible at it. And it doesn't really matter which sniper I use, I know the intervention's the most popular, but I'm pretty bad at all of it. If there's no dual rent or scope, I just can't snipe. I didn't learn how to snipe until Ghost, and I can snipe in Advanced Warfare, but for some reason I could not snipe in Black Ops 2 and I couldn't snipe in Modern Warfare 2. While there's no aim assist in the newer games, for some reason it feels like there is more so than in this game, and the sway feels less. But that also kind of depends on what scope you use in Advanced Warfare. The only scope I can use is the variable zoom. The other ones are just too zoomed in and sway a lot. But the variable zoom doesn't have that much sway. But I feel like the intervention has a lot of sway. So for me, I feel like sniping is pretty difficult. I don't feel like I do too bad in this game. It's definitely not the best. But uh, I feel like I'm finally starting to get the hang of it. And I think what's actually helped me kind of get the hang of this is playing Halo Reach. Because... I've been playing a lot of SWAT, and when you play SWAT, you kind of have to know where the middle of your screen is. You have to see where your reticle is because you have to get a headshot. If you don't get a headshot, it's not a one-shot kill. I mean, you can just body shot people over and over, but they're probably going to turn around and headshot you, and you're going to die. So you really need to get your headshots down if you're going to play SWAT. Well, I think that's kind of helped me play this game because, again, I don't really know where the center of my screen is, but since I've been kind of playing so much Halo Reach and trying to figure out where the center of my screen is, I think I'm getting better at knowing exactly where my bullet's going to go. So, one game's helped me play another. So, yeah, I'm one of those girls that I can red gun, but I can't snipe. So, anyway, I want to get good at it, especially because I've watched some Black Ops 3 sniper gameplay, and it looks pretty difficult. It definitely doesn't look like something that I will be good at, but I want to get good at it because, like I said, I like a challenge, red gunning's boring, and just, I don't know, I want something new, something different. It's getting to the point where I pretty much just snipe all the time because sniping's difficult, and so it's a little bit more fun for me to do something that's a little bit more challenging, even though I die a lot and I swear a lot because, you know... I'm not doing very good. It's still fun, so... And I don't take Call of Duty too seriously. I used to, but I'm pretty much to the point now to where I just play for fun. I don't... I don't care if I get to, like, 11 kills and someone kills me at 12, or that used to... It would have bothered me before, but I just don't take Call of Duty all that seriously anymore. So, anyway, that's the background story of the footage, but you guys can see the rest of that. So, what I want to talk about today which is pretty short, is, so I've heard a lot about a Modern Warfare 2 remake for Xbox One. I'm guessing it would be for PlayStation 4 too, because why would they make it for one and not the other? But I don't know if PlayStation 4 is backwards compatible. So if you guys know the answer to that, let me know. Can you play PlayStation 3 games on PlayStation 4? The only reason I don't know that is because I don't have a PlayStation 3 or a PlayStation 4, and so it doesn't really apply to me, but I would imagine you could because they're both Blu-ray, and I'm figuring that that is the reason why you couldn't play 360 games on the one, because one's a CD disc and one's a Blu-ray, and so that's what I'm thinking. Don't know if that's the exact reason, but now we have backwards compatibility coming to the Xbox One, so you'll finally be able to play 360 games on the Xbox One, which is pretty cool, especially because a lot of them you can just have like downloaded to your hard drive and you don't even need the disc, or you can put the disc in there, but 
So that makes me think, hey, will people start playing some of these games like Modern Warfare 2 more often? And if they do, do we need a remake? Or will they even make a remake because will enough people play it on the one, even though it's the 360 version? So my question to you guys is, do you still want a remake or do you want a remake at all? Or would you be just fine with, you know, playing the 360 version on the one? I'm still fine with playing the 360 version, but it does seem like there's not that many players. Unfortunately, you can't see how many players are in the lobbies because at least on the 360 version, I don't know, it just says zero all the time on mine. I don't know if there's anybody's that works. Everybody I know though, they all say it says zero. So I'm kind of thinking that they just like took that down or something, but it seems like it's kind of hard to find a game. Like it'll say I have three or four games. And if I'm playing with someone who's not in my region, like a different state or definitely a different country, it's very difficult to find games. So I wonder if it's put on backwards compatibility, will enough people play it to where it's easier to find games or will they just need a remake? Personally, I think I still want to go with the remake. The graphics would be better. And I'm pretty sure we're way more guaranteed to find enough players to have an actual game lobby. Cause that's my biggest fear is that even though there are still quite a bit of people that play Modern Warfare 2. I feel like if they just make it backwards compatible, there will probably be more people that play it, but I don't know if there will be enough people that play it to where it will still be fun. So I'm still hoping for the Modern Warfare 2 remake. Hopefully it's, you know, within the next year or two. I don't know anything about it though, but uh, let me know. Do you guys want a Modern Warfare 2 remake or what Call of Duty do you want remade? I wouldn't mind Black Ops 2 being remade either. That's another good one. And I hope that they keep everything exactly the same, even the crappy stuff like Danger Close and quick scoping and just, I don't know, everything that kind of made it annoying, I want the exact game because I love this game. So anyway, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.